Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you the different ways that you can create a summary task and what the implications of those summary tasks are. So first of all, project summary tasks. Now to get that, you need to go onto the Gantt chart format tab and activate it over on the right here by ticking this little checkbox, project summary task, and it automatically drops it in there you can change the name, so I'll just call that Project A. So that's the summary task. And you've got no duration there because this is picking this up um, from underneath and there's nothing there at the moment. Another way you could do it is you could go back to the task tab. So this is a different summary task. It says summary there, but it is not the project summary. If I click on that, it creates this summary task. So I'm going to call that part A. And then underneath that, you get subtasks. So that's like a set of tasks itself. So I'll go task one, task two, etc., And they all follow one underneath. And the idea is that you don't leave this question mark on, which is a, an estimated time. You can fill that in. So I'll just put some figures in there. Now, what's happened? All the question marks have disappeared because these two tasks have now got a, a, a duration, whether that's estimated or not. It's not showing the question mark because you've typed some durations actual durations in there so that's the project summary this is a summary task that you've created from the task tab on the ribbon picking this the other way to do it would be if i go part b press enter on that one and then go task one pass two and then i highlight these two tasks underneath part b so at the moment they're all sitting under part a but if i use the indent tab there now that's indented those and i'll just put a three and a four day task there just to give some movement now the way this is sitting because i didn't outdent when i was doing task two it's picking that up and it, if i collapse this watch everything's sitting underneath there where i don't want that to be the case so i'm going to click on that one and I'm going to outdent that so it's out in the same line as part A. So if I collapse the project summary task, everything disappears. And now I've got all the tasks, the summary tasks that I've created and the subtasks uh, uh, underneath each of those. Now, the thing that you have to be careful of, the way this is set up is that this bold area will pick up the duration of the subtasks that are underneath it like that. The project is picking that up as well now i cannot type i'm trying to type on that duration on that project a task and that's the summary of the whole project it is not let me do that now if i click on this one now remember this one was where i came from the task tab and this area summary i'm going to type six there and it does let me do that but when it when i do do that now this is not picking up the correct amount of duration underneath and it's immediately changed that to a manually scheduled task because i've intervened i'll just open this up a bit and i've actually changed something there the one that i did by using the indent i click on that one and put six on there six days you get the same sort of thing happening this changes to a manual task now if i put seven days there i've got seven days it hasn't updated any of this if i chat if i type on there if i put eight days there what i've got now is a conflict because this is saying eight days that is saying seven if i do the same at the top if i go eight i get the red lines appearing now my personal view is if i look at a project plan and i see these red lines that's ringing alarm bells in my head i want to know why that's the case i then be looking at a task mode is that being put on a manual setting on purpose or is that because somebody's accidentally typed on one of these summary tasks so you just have to be careful if i put these back to automatic then that picks up the eight days and this would pick up the same as well automatic that picks up the eight days and then everything is back to normal all the task modes are now on automatic all the red lines have disappeared all the summary tasks are picking up the durations from underneath them project summary task hasn't really been affected by any of that so that was okay but these ones that you do either from the task tab on the ribbon 
here, or you do the indent, same same place. Both of those you need to be careful of. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. Different ways that you can do a project summary task or a summary task for a phase of subtasks. So hopefully that's been of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.